Are we rolling? Hello and welcome to another episode of Wonders of Wyoming. I'm Tom Wilkins Speak. Today we are going to be exploring a very important landmark in the city of Sheridan, Wyoming, which is in the northern part of Wyoming and features many historic buildings in and of itself. Behind me is the historic Sheridan Inn, which started construction in 1892 and was completed in less than six months in 1893. When completed, this building was estimated to have cost $25,000, something unimaginable in this day and age. The construction took place three years after Wyoming became a state. The historic Sheridan Inn was built to serve the railroad workers from the depot next door. Buffalo Bill Cody held auditions right where I'm sitting. Nearly 30 years ago, Buffalo Bill Cody held auditions for his world famous Wild West shows from right where I'm sitting. Buffalo Bill would sit and watch the auditions and then pick his characters from there. The inn has seen booms and busts just like the town of Rock Springs did in a film you can find at your local library, a part of the Wonders of Wyoming series. With booms and busts, unfortunately comes financial instability. The inn has been the subject of both praise and controversy from local residents, most of which have nothing better to do than complain about old buildings taking up space. Several residents see the building as an eyesore, something impending a rail crossing that would shave off two seconds of travel under the nearby Burlington Northern Line across the street. Luckily, some smart folks are planning on making the building a National Historic Landmark soon, with an easement that will protect it from destruction. Several folks in Sheridan, a small but vocal minority, still champion for this historic feature to be torn down. Why? We're not sure. Again, it could be that they have nothing better to do than complain about something. Another feature the inn offered the community was space for weddings, community events, and winter gatherings, where you might meet somebody you love, only to find out that she had different plans later down the line. The inn also offered a tasty restaurant called the 1893 Grill and Spirits. The restaurant features tasty food and wonderful service, and wonderful service from the service providers. The bar in the restaurant is much the same as it was in 1893, with bullet holes still visible in the walls. Without the support of the community and others from around the country, the future of the Sheridan Inn remains unknown. With the recent financial difficulties, the inn may be sold to another owner, and who knows what will happen to it at that point. We'd like to ask the community for more support, as it is only 1930, and surely more money will be made in the future. We'd like to offer up that this building is indeed a treasure to the Sheridan areas, an important part of its history. We'd also like to ask that folks who have complaints about details about the Sheridan Inn complain about something worthwhile for a change. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Wonders of Wyoming. I'm Tom Wilkins Peak, saying if you'd like to see more Wonders of Wyoming, visit your movie theater and pay 50 cents. And also, I'd like to add a personal note Visit the Sheridan Inn next time you're in Sheridan, Wyoming. Once again, I'm Tom Wilkins Peak, and this has been an episode of Wonders of Wyoming. Join us again next time for another episode of Wonders of Wyoming. And if you'd like to see more Wonders of Wyoming, stop by a movie theater and pay 50 cents. Good night.